The most important thing to any business is the sale. So let's create a sales order in Unleashed. Go to Sales, Order and Add Sales Order. The first thing we're going to do is select the customer who we're going to sell to. You can find the customer by typing in the customer code, customer name, or use the magnifying glass for the advanced search. Once loaded, I can then specify additional information pertaining to the sales order, such as the customer reference, the tax rate, the sales warehouse location, and additional delivery details. Our customers can have multiple delivery addresses, so make sure you select the correct one. Over to the right, you have your salesperson and the sales type. Filling out this information is a great way to track sales and orders by that salesperson. We also have our order date and required date. The required date refers to the date we need to get the products to the customers by, so they should be shipped by then. We can monitor this on the dashboard and in our reports. We have our sales order and packing slip templates, and you can choose from the Unleashed default templates or design your own PDF documentation in the Doc Designer. Now it's time to add our products into the product field. Start typing in the product details, which could be your product code, description, or even your barcode if you've got those set up. Next step is to type in the quantity that I want to quote for the customer, and as you can see, the price has been pre-populated in the system. The price used will be the default sell price of the product. However, if you have any sell price tiers or customer pricing set up against the customer, that pricing will apply instead. So, the price has auto-populated as explained, but you can change it if required. Include any comments against the product line here and then click Add. As we add in the product line, we can see the margin that we're about to make on the sale and on the overall order here. And I can see that I'm not going to make a profit on that particular sale if it goes through. This gives me an opportunity to correct the unit price which I've made a mistake on. This now removes the negative margin. Let's add in another product and we'll put 13 in the quantity. Now, as we can see in the pack size, this particular product comes in a pack of 12. So when we add the product, a warning will pop up saying that the quantity we're selling is not in the multiples of the pack size. This is just a warning and we can supersede it, but we do want to stick within those pack sizes today. So that gives me an opportunity to change the quantity. We can see all the information that will pull through on the sales order here. Do note that your margin and profit for the sale is only visible in your Unleashed and it's not sent to your customer. Down the bottom, we can print the order and also email it directly from Unleashed. Pressing the email button will allow you to use your email templates and send the sales order to your customer, along with any additional details included in the email body. Back to the top, we've got the order prefix and number to make it easier to track as well as the status. As we can see, it's currently in part because we're working on it. Based on my configuration, I have sales orders auto-allocated for stock quantity. However, in the case where I may not want to reserve stock for this particular order, I can use the deallocate button, which will remove the product allocation for this order. This allows my team to see that these units are available for use in another transaction. For this example, I've got the stock committed, so I will save the sales order as placed. In the product line, we can see how much has been shipped and how much has been invoiced. You can ship and invoice your products separately, and in our example, everything has been invoiced but not shipped, so let's go ahead and move this along by adding a shipment. Click on the order drop-down and create shipment. We're going to ship off everything, so we'll click place. I can now see on the shipment tab next to the order line that there's one shipment open. If we navigate back to the order, we can see that the quantity shipped is matching the shipment that we've just dispatched. Now that it's completely invoiced and it's completely shipped, there's nothing left to do in this order, so it's completed. Thank <laughs> you.